Hello all. In this session, we will be going to see on uh, queues, service request queues. Uh, so what exactly uh, queues and uh, in Oracle Fusion B2B service, so how we can uh, use this queues uh, to easily handle the service request and few setups uh, related to queues okay so uh, first um, so uh, queue is nothing but uh, like we it is a logical uh, grouping of service requests so queue can be used uh, like this uh, it can be uh, we can group a few of service requests by uh, by a specific product so uh, like um, all the service requests belonging to a product uh, we can group and then uh, a specialist product specialist uh, we can assign later we can assign uh, uh, like we can assign an agent uh, to this queue and then he can handle all these uh, product specialty uh, service request so uh, so thereby like uh, we can uh, we can quickly uh, resolve the, those service requests and uh, it will be uh, immediate than uh, if we assign to a non products uh, like uh, specialists if someone doesn't know about the product so he cannot he can't serve he can't do a service uh, in a fast, in, in a uh, like better or faster way so that's why this uh, queues are queues are queues are important so uh, so queues is a separate object uh, in oracle fusion cloud so we can go to service service group and then we can uh, navigate to queues and this is how uh, the queues will be uh, displayed and here we can see uh, the existing uh, queues dashboard. So all the uh, queues status and then uh, uh, then agents assigned to this queue and any team, resource teams, all that uh, uh, service requests uh, and real-time or non-real-time capacities. Okay, so uh, here uh, we will be creating a queue. Uh, using create a queue button so maybe we can give some uh, demo queue okay so for now consider this is a queue name we are giving and uh, the distribution can be uh, automatic or manual. So manual means um, if we choose manual, so this queue cannot be uh, assigned uh, using omni-channel routing or third-party routing. So if we enable automatic, then only this routing, uh, automatic routing to agents will be, uh, uh, can happen. So for that automatic distribution should be enabled. So uh, in this uh, video, um, we are not going to discuss uh, this routing, uh, routing from uh, queues to agents. So in this session, we are completely focusing on uh, assigning queues to service requests. Uh, so in the in, in the later sessions, we we, we will try to cover uh, omni-channel routing. Uh, work assignment but uh, in this video uh, we are not going to discuss that so some of the fields are uh, all related to that uh, uh, routing so for now uh, we will just select it as a automatic but uh, we'll proceed to uh, create if we have any uh, description related to queue we can give it here once we save and continue, we will get uh, uh, option to add team members. So maybe we can add uh,
So I'll add a resource. And uh, also we have uh, options to add resource teams. So here we can create resource team if we don't have uh, like uh, Okay, something like this. We can add more than one and we can add this particular uh, resource here. Okay, and uh, we have overflow queue name. Uh, that means um, if we have in if if this over if this current queue is already filled then uh, it can assign whatever service requests coming uh, uh, right to this queue uh, so it will move to next queue okay so that's all uh, uh, queue creation so now we will see, uh, so this capacity is also uh, uh, like uh, it's based on, um, uh, it is for uh, work assignment, we will discuss later. And uh, here uh, we need to, we need to note one point, what is real time capacities and what is not real time capacities or what is a real time service request non real time service requests so real time are nothing but the channel type if uh, channel type is uh, uh, cti uh, means if any uh, call or service request coming from cti or chat right then then that is called as uh, real time if anything other than that uh, is called non real time so email manual service request this is these are or can be non real time uh, service requests because uh, we don't need to uh, reply immediately for a uh, email uh, query but if it is a uh, if it is a chat or uh, cti uh, right request so we need to respond as soon as possible or immediately that is why uh, these two are real time uh, uh, kept, uh, real time service requests okay so uh, now uh, now service request uh, queue is uh, created uh, also uh, we have a default queue enabled uh, by default uh, if if omni channel is enabled that queue uh, will be used as a default queue and the name the queue name itself is called default so that will be assigned if uh, nothing uh, uh, nothing found no other queue found then it will be uh, uh, it will be assigned so uh, these queues can be assigned to a service request in different ways so the first uh, method is uh, just go to service request overview page or edit page and just select a DCL called queue and assign whatever the queue we have here. So we'll go to uh, service requests. and we'll open any service request.
and notice here we have a QDCL. So we can select any any queue that we want. Okay. Uh, this is first way. The second way is um, maybe we can write a script or some logic uh, using uh, server scripts or uh, right. Or uh, we 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 can define a, a queue based on um, resource also. Whoever is uh, creating or based on inbound email. So that and all is a, a custom logic. So we can use some uh, server scripts to default a queue. Right. So that is second way. And the third way is using assignment rules. So uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud will provide a uh, option as a assignment rules to define uh, uh, the, this, uh, this queue based on some conditions. So these conditions are like uh, um, uh, like uh, lead assignment rules, right? Opportunity assignment rules. So it it is uh, exactly same like, but uh, the candidates and uh, the conditions uh, are different, but the rest everything is same. So for that we should go to manage service assignment rules. So the related uh, for this rules, right? If we want to enable new field or uh, something, we should come to this manage service assignment objects and we should, we can enable a field or uh, uh, like that. So uh, here we have uh, different categories. Uh, generic rules will be used for real-time uh, service requests. If you want to write any uh, rules for real-time, right? So we can, uh, we can write, we can use this particular category. Uh, for others, we can use uh, service request queuing rules. And here uh, we have, uh, so we have uh, different uh, uh, service request uh, categories. So we can create different categories. I mean, uh, different rule sets. So these are called rule sets and these are called rules. So within rule, we have a conditions and uh, the queue. So suppose, uh, um, so we will inactivate this and we'll create our own. So uh, here uh, we have a score option also, okay. So the score option is uh, to uh, select a right queue if, if there are uh, multiple conditions satisfied for the same queue. It means like uh, we may have uh, different conditions satisfied with the same, um, with, uh, same condition but different queues. Uh, in that case, we want to select the right queue. So we can use this score to uh, give some scoring and based on that uh, uh, correct queue will be selected or whatever the highest score we can select that queue so use score option we have selected and uh, we have uh, filters uh, uh, all and all above are equal to minimum score so this is to select the uh, uh, candidates so we need to select all the candidates or all uh, all above and are equal to minimum score candidates randomly select or top top uh, uh, number so we we need only one candidate because service request will allow only one uh, queue uh, per service request so we we should use uh, only one candidate and after that uh, create a rule So um, I'll say um, uh, 
so here uh, we will use um, the condition so the condition can be from a queue or service request uh, object so i'll select uh, service request object and title uh, we will use a uh, role from a title but uh, otherwise we can give we can use any of the attribute uh, and enabled here or if you want in if you want to enable some uh, any custom field or some other field so we should go to manage service uh, assignment objects task and then we we can enable the uh, the other fields but here i'm selecting uh, okay we don't have a title so i'll go with the uh, critical so if it equals to critical critical if critical is yes then uh, increase score by 25 and assign to our newly created queue that is uh, called demo queue okay so if if it is a critical and uh, we are assigning 25 as a, a score to this particular queue and uh, and the same condition we will use but we will give the some different score so that uh, it will it will it will select the highest score one only so we don't have option to duplicate the rule so we should again create so this is called rule 2 demo so again um, CDRT, no critical, right? Critical. And here I'm just giving 10. And I will select uh, another queue, uh, maybe a team critical. So uh, since we have inactivated uh, all that, uh, all other rule sets, so we don't need to worry. Whatever the rules we have defined in this uh, rule set will only applicable. So I'm going to save and publish. A background process will be uh, uh, will be run in the background. Um, so it will uh, sync up all these uh, changes to the main line. the status we can see from this uh, refresh button and uh, what what uh, if nothing uh, q uh, if no if any of these conditions not match it and if uh, omni channel routing is enabled so the default queue will be automatically assigned if not then it won't assign anything but if omni channel is assigned uh, uh, default queue will be assigned so now we are going to test this uh, uh, scenario so now we'll create a, a, a service request We will also go to this task once we uh, we finish our test. We'll create a new service request. and critical so nothing else needed so I just selected only title and critical so now we should uh, see a queue populated 
if the profile option uh, is set on the create. Okay, so it's not um, assigned, maybe profile option issue, but we will run this uh, uh, run queue assignment and we can check. Now you can notice uh, our queue with the highest highest score got added, right? And it assigned to the uh, user. Okay, this is uh, uh, routing, but we'll discuss this part later. Uh, but this got assigned to the queue. And so this is how we can uh, assign queues to service request automatically uh, using uh, service assignment rules so now we'll quickly go to a few of the setups uh, uh, related to queue assignment and manage service assignment objects <clears throat> so this is the place where we can add the uh, custom fields right so if you want to add any uh, fields into custom um, any custom fields into service request we can will go to he, uh, the attributes and we will add here okay and if you want to add any um, uh, any fields related to queue we will add here under uh, attribute section of queue so after that save we'll save and publish so that it will sync so now uh, manage service request profile options So here we can see uh, SPC assigned to create on queue. So now, uh, just now we have uh, seen uh, on creation of a request, uh, the service request, the service, the queue is not assigned. That is because of this profile option. The profile option value was set to no. So if we change this option to S, as soon as SR creates, the assignment rules will uh, run and it will uh, assign the proper queue. So since we haven't enabled previously, we have to run that uh, uh, run assignment, run queue assignment from actions. Or if we run a schedule process, um, so uh, we have a run queue assignment schedule process. So that will check all the unassigned queue, uh, unassigned um, uh, service requests, unassigned queue uh, service requests, and it will assign uh, the same uh, process using this. Uh, uh, so it will check peri periodically and it will uh, assign all the queues. So this is how uh, we will manage uh, service requests using queues. And uh, also, and these queues can be used uh, in uh, in workspace to create some sa saved searches. Like all the uh, saved searches, we can create based on queues, and uh, so the teams can just navigate through that uh, queues. So if someone belongs to some uh, product A queue, so they can just simply go to uh, service requests and then, then they can uh, choose their uh, respective queue uh, saved search and they can work on those uh, records. This is how queues can be managed. Thank you all.